floss tube. I'm Kathy. This is my channel, Crappy Cat Stitcher. This is where I talk about cross stitch for the most part and occasionally some other crafty goodness. Let's just call it that. Today is Saturday, October 29th, 2022, and this is video number 74. And I haven't been here in a while. I'm going to adjust my camera a little bit. There we go. And it I don't know. I just feel crooked today. Maybe I'm just out of practice. I know it's been a long time since I've been here, but um, yesterday I even looked at it. I said, how long has it been? It's been almost three months, which I don't know. That's really weird for me because I usually try to do a video every three, three weeks or maybe four weeks. So it, yeah, this has been a long hiatus. Um, and I have, a, I have a reason for it. It's because I lost my stitchy bug. Uncharacteristically lost my stitchy bug. I, you know, it's, I've, I've had that happen before in the past, but not for very long. But this, it's been a while. And um, I, I'm not going to say that it's been gone off for three months, but for a good part of the time after I did my last video, it's been, to, it was not there. And the weird thing is, and maybe not so weird, is I watched a couple of floss tubers recently who said the same thing, that they lost their stitchy bugs. And so, Rigby's here. Look at Rigby, yay! That doesn't happen very often either, so... This is great that I'm back. She never jumps into my lap, but she just did. So that was, that's maybe that's a sign of what, I don't know. But anyway, I watched, yeah, I did watch a couple of floss tubers who said the same thing. So I, I don't think it's really, you know, that unusual to happen, but um, I'll just want to tell you what I did and how I did it, how I got back into the stitching mode. Um, and also, because I lost my stitchy bug, I also lost my floss tube bug. And, you know, that goes together. If I don't have anything to to show you, there's no floss tube. But, um, I don't know what she's doing. She never does this. <laughs> it's really strange. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. And no more excuses for me. Hi, sweetie. Hi, you want what do you want to do? Oh my gosh. This is really funny. Anyway. I yeah, I know, I know. You're a good girl. You're a really, really good girl, but when did you go sit on the chair? So strange. Anyway, so okay, sorry, I'm sorry. It's just cat drama, I guess. Um but what, here's what I did. I, during that time, I worked on other things. I did other kind of crafting things, projects that I wanted to get caught up with or, or finish. And, you know, so I wasn't totally idle. You know, it was just, I was having a good time with some other things. So maybe that was a good thing. And I'll show you. I made another little velvety pumpkin for my um, autumn display. And it's done with yarn over a styrofoam ball. Pretty cool. So I have, you know, I made orange ones and like cream colored ones. And so made one of those. Um, I worked on my, I don't have the brochure for it, but it's for my um, block afghan block of the month from Annie's Kid Clubs. I think one of these is block seven and one is block nine. This one cracks me up because it's for an afghan and this part is going to be cold. And I get the purpose of this project. It's to um, learn uh, different stitches. and But I just, it, this one cracks me up. It's very eerie. So it's pretty though. And the reason I know it's block seven and nine is because block eight gave me a really hard time. So if you're working on that project, it's Annie's Kit Club block Afghan, Af Afghan block of the month. And um, I just, 
block eight is just, I don't understand it. I don't, I don't know. Don't ask me. Okay. Um, I also finished my little snowman. The guy that I was kind of uh, confused about last time when I showed you him. Um, these little wires that represent his arms are like sticks in a snowman's arms for a snowman's arms. I could not figure out how to do it. And it says to, it said to cut the um, wires as sharp as needles so you could put it through his body. And I, I could not cut them to be that sharp. And I just handed them over to my husband. I, I said to Mark, I go, here you go. Try to figure out how you can make these sharp. He came up and these things were so sharp. They were like needles. And um, he, I said, what did you use? And he goes, grinder. <laughs> so I was able to put them through. And then he cut the sharp ends off. So they're just wire ends. And oh, I will tell you that this is called needle felting for you to, for those of you who don't know. Um, I will show you. I got it from a company called Bear Creek Felting. And <clears throat> it was a be absolute beginner's project. And the one the thing I liked about it is that they give you such detailed instructions on what to do. I mean this this instruction booklet is so detailed. It's not like they send you a bunch of wool, which is what it, you know, it just comes with like pieces of roving wool and the the actual balls for the snowman. And you have to make everything. So, you know, like for the eyebrows, and that is what I was most amazed at, his eyebrows, because you have to use the littlest bit. But I would recommend this. It was not an inexpensive kit, but it was a good place to start. And, you know, I feel like now I could probably do other projects in wool, in, <clears throat> in wool felting and maybe spend a little bit less, you know, just get something. But now that I know the basics, so I think it's called, it's needle felting. So you have a bone block and a very sharp needle and you make everything with those pieces so um i only stabbed myself a few times so it wasn't too bad so um the other thing i did was i looked at my finishes my stitching finishes to see what i could ffo and i you know this is the one that i really wanted to do because halloween's coming up and there it is it's bent creeks candy corn of mischief, which I stitched, you know, a while back and got it done a little while ago. And I mean, it's a cute little piece, but I thought this would just be good to make a little pillow out of it and just prop it up. I have it with my other fall decorations. So it'll be up for a couple more days and then I'll go more into Thanksgiving. But this is how I did it. Put backing on it, which is a lot of fun. I thought this is perfect, right? I mean, you got the mischievous candy corn and then the funny little figures. And I had some of this uh, trim in my stash. I had bought on Facebook Marketplace um, a box of trims from a lady who was, I guess she was getting rid of a lot of her scrapbooking stuff. And I mean, for $20, I had a lot of trim. So... I'm finding that I'm, I've been able to use this a lot, a lot of different pieces from that. So, you know, there's an unexpected source to get cool things to finish your projects. And then I also finished, I FFO'd Mary and Minty by Brendan Gervais. There it is. I did that also into a pillow. I had intended to put some fabric and make it, you know, a, have some fabric on it. But, you know, it's big enough. I mean, I didn't want to make this any bigger. I just want it to be something where I can put it somewhere and make it to stand up. So what I did was I found some fabric that pretty much coordinates with it. And I did a different type of pillow where... I had seen this um, 
a Misty Purcell's um, floss too a little while ago. And you just make a seam down the back and you leave an opening and you stuff it there and then you can close it up so that it's pretty much, you know, it's, it's just pretty even. It's pretty good because this is like busy fabric and you can't even really see it. And I could have gotten pretty, you know, fussy and done, done fussy cutting to match up the patterns, but uh, it's fine, you know. Um, so that was a that was a cool new process for me because usually I leave it open at the bottom and stuff it there and yeah. So um, just fabric I had in my stash. I think I. I changed some of the colors, but I talked about this a long time ago when I actually finished it. I have some fuzz. Okay. Um, and I, I have um, some chenille trim from Victorian Motto, and this is the color Antique Red. And I think it's perfect with it. And I had a little tin Christmas tree, and I put that on there. So that's another one. I really like this. It's going to be... Really cute to put out at the at Christmas time. All right, what else have I done? So then I thought, you know, I want to get back in the stitching, and I, how, what do I, what do you want to do? What I want, what do I want to do? And I thought, you know, there's one project that I have that's um, has kind of a, a deadline on it. It was the only one, and it was um, this ornament that I wanted to do for my son and daughter-in-law. I do them, I make them an ornament every year and I try to date it so that they'll have a record of that. But, um, so I finished it. I actually finished the stitching and then FFO'd it. So there it is. I got the charm on there for the date. And there it is. And this is, these are charts and it's on both sides, two different charts. So this um, chart is from Cross Stitching for Fun. I got it on Etsy last, right before, no, right after Thanksgiving last year. And I don't know if they still have an Etsy shop, but they have a Facebook group that you can join and they'll have patterns and tell you how to get them. So I did this on 32 count pearl, the color is pearl linen, in the all the call for colors. Oh, how cute. Look at that. So, there it is. It's all done. The trim is from Lady Dot Creates, and it's the color sizzle. And I just added two wooden beads and a kind of twisted hanger. Not total cording, but a little bit. And there it is. So there we are for um, annual ornament for 2022. And I'm very happy. So that kind of got me going again with stitching. So from then on, I was okay. And I also, I, I joined a group on, it's, a, it's on Instagram, mostly it's Whips Be Gone 2022 from Leanne at Devoted Quilter. And um, I thought, well, that's going to get me going as well. Get me Kind of, you know, get going on finishing some things, some whips that I really wanted to do. So, um, the first one, and look at, this is unbelievable. I have another FF finish and FFO. This one I finished right before Whips Be Gone started. So, it's Turkey Bay by Plum Street. Look at, it's done. So another frame that is from a, it's an, it was a Facebook marketplace box of frames that I know I talked about before. I talked about this a long time ago. Um, and it was dark blue and I just painted it black to go with the black in this. So um, I know I, I have some places where I need to touch up, but it's ready to go. I'm going to, in a couple days, I'll just put this out. So that's Turkey Bay by Plum Street Samplers. And I'm done. <laughs> I'm finished. 
It was so nice to have a finish, isn't it? It's just yay, you know? And so then for also for Whips Be Gone, I, another one I wanted to finish before, I mean soon, oh, is Jingle Jolly Joy by Luminous Fiber Arts. And I finished it. Here it is. Look at it. I used all the I think that this is called for DMC. And I, I stitched it on um, 32 count Colonial Parchment Fabrics by Stephanie. I love this fabric. It is, it just lends itself to so many different things. So there it is. I'm going to make a bell pull. That's the plan as of right now. I'm gonna, I want to show it to you one more time because I like it so much. Isn't it cute? So exciting to finish something for once. I enjoyed it. So that was um, Jingle Jolly Joy by Luminous Fiber Arts. Okay, I have everything in a basket right here. I'm doing things a little different to keep myself organized. And I also got my my um, notes. So yeah, maybe I'm a little bit out of practice. So excuse me if I'm a little bit Ooh, today, you know. So I'm going to tell you right now that I am firmly back into the stitching mode, which is great. I'm just so happy to be stitching again and um, always have a project, always have something going on. So another, this I'm going to go into whips, and this is one I worked on quite a bit, intending to finish it for whips to be gone, but I don't think this is going to happen. Uh, Small Animal Sampler by Bobby G Designs, which I love, it is a great project. I'm doing it on, I think it's 28 count Black Joblin. And it's a challenge. Black Joblin is a challenge because I stitch with a hoop and it's it's kind of, somebody said, well, put, put a light behind it. Put white, something white behind it. It kind of doesn't work when you're stitching with a hoop and you have, you're holding it up. I don't know what's going on. Um, and it's just hard. Is it, there's certain times of the day that are like peak times to work on this, but I'm not, there's a cat fight going on in the hall. So just disregard that. And don't worry, it's not a serious fight. It's just what they do. If you have cats, you know. Um, it's there's certain times of the day when I when it's just perfect. The light's perfect. Evenings are difficult. But I want to show you what I've done so far. I have all the actual little squares done, which I'm really happy about. There they are. Look at that. Look at the little bunny. I just finished him. So now I'm working on the border. And I've got like more than half the border done. So you know, it's going to get done. It's going to get done. I don't know if it's going to be this year or next, but, you know, it's, it's, I'm happy with what I did in the last couple weeks with that. The other one I'm working on, oh, yeah, I told you that's, and that's all DMC. Another one I'm working on is uh, Forever in Peace by Sweet Wing Design. Sweet Wing, Sweet Wing Studio. I love this chart. I love this pattern. It's gorgeous. I'm using all the call, call for it except I substituted. Let me look at it real close. I substituted for Deep Blue Sea. I substituted Blue Moon by Classic Color Works because my the um, Deep Blue Sea that I had was too close to the other blue, to the wavy navy. So I wanted a little bit more of a contrast, which, you know, which is what was intended, but my dye lot was just really dark. So the lighter color is Blue Moon. And I'm work and all the rest of them I'm doing in the call for. So that's what I got this blue part done. I got the stars part done. So which is what this is, represents. I'm doing this one on, and I have a actual post-it note 
this is 32 count Lugana in the color Sparrow from Luminous Fiber Arts. And so there it is. Yay. Love it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I thought that's a good place to stop and move on to something else. So I just stopped working on that one for the time being. All right, let me look through my stuff and see what I've got going on. Oh, I've got, oh, wait a minute, there's something weird going on with my phone. I don't know what it is, but with my camera. Um, I'm going to have to pause it anyway because it, this is usually the time when my camera shuts off on me. So, one moment. Okay, so, um, new stuff. And it's, you know, my stitchy book went away, but my stitchy stash buying bug didn't go away. So, go figure. I don't understand it. So, let's see some new things that I added to my stitching supplies. All right. So, oh, these are so cute. I got these from um, the Whole Stitching Caboodle on Facebook, which is a group on Facebook that you can join and get all kinds of pretty charts. And it's a really cool way to order. Um, Gathering Honey, Luminous Fiber Arts which is so cute. And, oh, look at what turkeys thinks. Luminous fiber arts. I just looked at that and I thought, oh, I'm stitches for Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. All right. I know, I just, I'm trying not to be too scattered. I ordered from Top Knot, Top Knot Stitcher and, um, I got, I saw these and I really like them. Hands on designs and it's the autumn basket. Three cute charts, adorable, and I love the colors. Yes. And I also got, just having, I'm sad having technical difficulties. Ooh, this is October House Fiber Arts. This one was from Expo. You know, as soon as I saw it, I thought, that I have to do. Strawberry Fair. Isn't that the prettiest? Look at that. Look at that. That strawberry and that bird. And the colors. Oh, I love it. And there you go. Top Knot Stitcher Shop. That's where I got these from. Oh, and also I got an order from her. Something a lot of people have. The ornament issue. And I have found several things in here that I really do like, and more than several. And um, hope to be stitching soon. <laughs> I need more projects, right? Well, you know, I finished a couple, so. Um, I also got some happy mail from my friend Lisa, who won my last giveaway. And she sent me a sweet note. She is a very sweet person. And um, she sent me a pretty card with a pretty tag in it. And I just, oh, that's so cute with a little bunny. Oh, cute. I'm going to put that right there. And she sent me some charts. I, You know, you don't have to do this. But, boy, I really felt special. Stitching with the Housewives. Hello, Frosty. And, um, let's see. Brenda Gervais, 4th of July. Very cute. I'm trying not to get some reflection. I've got, this is kind of a funky day. It's sort of, um, a little bit overcast. <clears throat> and also from Lindy Stitches. Oh, so cute. And that goes to brunch. Love birds. And that's very pretty. So thank you to Lisa for sending me up something special. Also, I want a giveaway. And I'm going to tell you something about winning giveaways. I hardly ever do. I enter 
my fair share of giveaways. And, you know, for the most part, I have a lot of stuff. But, you know, this was like one of the, such a cool giveaway. And it was from Felicia at Mouse Potato Designs. And I thought, man, this is a good one. Look at all this silky thread. Look at that. Look at all the colors. Isn't that great? I was pretty happy to win this. And um, just how, how generous. What a generous giveaway this was. So um, thank you to Felicia for having the giveaway. And um, I appreciate that so much. All right, look at the basket. Oh, listen, I found a new place to order fabric from. I had seen on um, Instagram that Kim at Contented Stitcher uh, showed some fabric that she ordered from Tropical Stitches. They're in Florida. And so I thought, hey, let's see what they've got. And I ordered some gorgeous fabric and got it so quickly so uh, i'll be ordering from them again this is the color grazia and it's 32 count linen i'll just show it to you it's like it's a little bit <laughs> it's it's showing up a little lighter than it is but very pretty a nice neutral which you know i like and also I got 32 count sand dune and this one's showing up a little bit light also look how pretty that is very nice very well packaged like I said arrived so quickly and you know that was just a happy thing am I am I did I buy too much oh I'm not done so I ordered I made an order to um, one two three stitch because I've been wanting some of this fabric for a while. And this is um, Lugana. Is it Lugana? No, no, no. It's it's white Belfast linen, and it's in the color vintage smoky white. And this is coming up pretty true. It's a little, you know. Um, it's a little bit more tan than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more gray. And I had seen a, a comment, a review of this fabric, and it said, oh, I thought this was going to be more tan, but it's actually grayer. So, um, but I like it. I do like it. And it's another versatile fabric for me who likes that kind of thing, right? I also got Chart Winter Garden got from Hello by Liz Matthews. Look how pretty that is. Isn't it beautiful? Love it. And I got a few threads. I needed some for a project and um, it's all classic color works. So I'll just show that to you. That's what I got. All right. And if any of you, and a lot of you have probably seen this on floss tube um, from various floss tubers. If you have watched Helen D and she did a flip through of these books from Hirschner's. Oh my goodness. This one. And this one. She did flip through. So you, I'm not going to do it here. Um, if you want to go and check it out. She has a whole video on these two books. And the reason that it's they're so cool is because they're like $4.95 at Hirschner's. You have to, I personally had to really search for them. They weren't, it wasn't like they were right there. You have to put in a cross stitch Christmas. So do that. Put that into the search box and see what comes up. There's a new one for this year, but I don't, I don't know if it's out yet. I don't know what, how these work, except these are from previous years. And that's why they're so inexpensive, but... Do we care about that? No. All right. And one more thing. I decided to try to do an, a stitchy journal again. And um, I got one from Amazon, which I think is probably going to be better. It's a little bit, it's pretty economical. 
but it's pretty. I'm going to do 2023 Stitcher Journal. I just love this. I love this front. And it, the way that it's set up, it's going to work for me just fine. And I'm going to try I'm going to try to keep track of what is going on in my stitching progress. So, okay. Um, so, plans. I'm just going to keep stitching. And I, you know, when I talk about a rotation, I don't mean that I have anything set in stone. Here's what my rotation is. Okay, I'm going to work on this. Okay, so a few days go by. Okay, I want to change. Let's go to something else. That's my rotation. I don't have anything written down. I don't say I have to work on this for three days and then I have to work. I don't do this. But my that's my rotation. Um, so that's I, that's what I'm just going to do. I when when I'm you know when I started to get back into stitching after not really stitching for a little bit. I started thinking, how many cool projects do I have? I have a lot of cool projects. So, you know, not to brag, but that's just, you know, it's just what I, the things that I've started and I still like. I mean, there's, it's not like I don't like what I'm stitching. I have a lot of things that I really like. So, you know, it's kind of fun to go back into my, it's my mom's laundry basket where I have all my, my uh, project bags arranged. And um, I just go in there and I say, what am I going to, what am I going to pick out this time? So, um, also, I have joined, I'm going to join a cell. And it's, let me get the name of it. It's, and I'm going to put this down below because I don't know if I know how to put things on the screen. I don't know. But um, it's HBD FBL SAL. And it's Happy Birthday Farm Boys Love Sal. And you'll see that it'll be coming up on um, Instagram. And I'm joining it with Farm Boys Love, and who is a floss tuber. And her name is, I don't know, I forgot her name. I'm so sorry. I don't, oh, that's terrible. Sorry. Um, but her birthday month is November, and she wants to start a sal on November 1st and to stitch something Christmas. So. I thought what I would do is because, you know, I don't really need a ton of new starts, but this kind of gives me a good excuse. I have the Spirit spirit of Christmas um, ornament pattern set to from Lila Studio, and I'm going to do the bird. Oh, well. So I'm going to do that. I've got it all kitted up and ready to go, and I'm going to take out some time on Tuesday to start it. And I got my fabric picked out, which is pretty close to what they've got. I'm using all the called for colors, but as usual, not the called for fabric. <clears throat> and the call, the fabric I'm using is, oh, it's Color and Cotton Limited Edition 2015 Lugana 30 count. That's what I'm using. So... That'll be fun. I am looking forward to that, to um, seeing what everybody's going to be stitching. We're kind of getting into that Christmas mode, which I like, and I like Christmas stitching a lot. So I'm going to be starting that. The other thing that I'm doing currently is reorganizing my fabric. I, a few years ago, I bought a bunch of these boxes, right? And I thought, this is great. I'll put, you know, this one, 36 count. Yay. Another one, 32 count. And it's just not working for me because it's all kind of jammed in there. And then when you want to find something, everything's got to come out and then go back in. And it, it it's just not working for me. So I watched Vicki at Virginia Stitcher and she had a really good idea of how to organize fabrics. It's not her latest video. I don't know which video it is, but I will put a link to it below. And she is putting all of her fabric on um, comic book board and then just labeling it and then putting it into storage boxes. So I thought I'd start small. I already had the comic book board, which is something I use a lot for finishing. And um, 
I bought on Amazon, I bought a couple of storage boxes. They came collapsed and you kind of just put them together. And um, I've gotten a little bit of a start on it. It's, it is time consuming. It does take a while because you're folding the pieces of fabric over the board. And I bought some of those clear shirt clips, which is what she used to do hers. And um, I'm going to be doing that. Um, I'm going to continue that to get my fabrics organized in a good way. It's really getting darker here. It was when I started this video, it was a lot brighter and I have the blinds closed. And so it is getting darker. So um, that's if you if you see a difference, that's what it is. But I, it's still kind of okay. And I've got my ring light over there. Okay. So that's, those are things I'm going to be doing. And of course, I'm going to be um, stitching in my totally lopsided way of doing a, a rotation. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, what else? Okay. One other word. Oh, one thing I want to talk about is my Etsy store. I have... And you know, if you've been watching me a while, I have flip-flopped on this for, you know, for the past year and wondering if I should keep the store open. And I have decided to close it as of next week. So probably right around the 1st, I'm going to be closing up the store. Um, it's not bad news and I'm not sad about it because I do have the option of opening it back up at some point. I find out it's easy to close. And supposedly easy to open back up so it's going to be going away um, that's fine costs of everything have, has gone up so much I mean the costs of materials that I use everything in the store is are things that I make and shipping has gone up packaging has gone up you know shipping supplies everything has gone up and as we've had um, a lot of well, prices going up on everything. I've also noticed that that I'm not getting as many sales and I'm not complaining. And I really want to thank people who have bought things from me. And I know I've got some really devoted um, customers and I thank you for that if you have bought from me in the past. And I want to let you know that if you need something or want something, you need to contact me on the, um, in the email below. I've done quite a few custom orders. So if there's something you want, go ahead and just contact me. Um, most likely I can do it for you. If you need stuff for retreats, I can do things in bulk. So just let me know and I can do that. The, like I said, the um, emails below, just let me know. Okay. Um, the other thing I plan to do is have occasional like pop-up sales on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, do that and you'll see, um, hopefully, maybe probably I would say more like after the first of the year, um, you'll see I'll have some little pop-up sales that we can do and um, we'll see. We'll, we'll do, I'm just going to take it from there. Like I said, I'm not sad about this. It's just... I think that right now is just not a good time and it's just not working right now. So, um, let me know if you need anything. Okay. All right. So let's have a giveaway because you all stuck with me <laughs> for while I've been gone. Um, I'm going to give away Lizzie Kate and it's called coffee time. I made this guy and I've got him, him, whatever it's hanging in my kitchen. I have a butt first coffee and a butt first tea and that was a totally different pattern but this one's very cute to stitch and then it's got two other ones in there if you like those yay so if you want to win this just say coffee that's it okay um and i'll be back in a few weeks i will really and um if you want to win this just say coffee and Remember, you have to be 18 or more. Yeah, don't say giveaway, don't say drawing, don't say giveaway. I already said that, but don't say those words, okay? And um, this is for U.S. only, okay?
All right, so that'll be our giveaway for next time, just to say thank you. And I really do thank you for coming back to see me if you've been with me for a while. And if you're new, I appreciate you being here. And um, I hope that you will subscribe. And um, just, I I'm just hope that you found something in this video that you liked and that you'll come back next time. So until next time, happy stitching. I will see you soon. Bye.